dad had these old surfboards laying around. One of his buddies kind of cut one of his longboards down and reshape it for me. I'll never forget like, the first time going surfing, um, I caught this little tiny white water and stood up for the first time and I just remember like crouching down low and putting my fingers in the water as I was going and just kind of skimming and I was just, I was totally hooked. So I competed nonstop for about like 11 or 12 years on the tour. I really liked it actually, I really enjoyed it. I, at some point I started getting really burnt out on, on competing. I think I was in Portugal. There was a picture in the office that someone had of Laird Hamilton and he had caught this wave um, in Tahiti the day before that. And it was this wave at Chopo, that really famous, famous wave. And I was thinking, I was in Portugal surfing this one foot <laughs> Beach break is crap, and I didn't care at all. And meanwhile, this was going on, and I said, that's it. I'm over it, I wanna do some other things. Like, I wanna chase some big waves, I wanna I'll really push myself, and that's what I did. I love having a family. If you ask my, some of my friends I surf with, they would say that I made some reckless choices when the waves are big. And I feel nowadays that I don't really make those reckless choices. So being a dad is definitely the best thing I've ever done. The, the hardest and most rewarding job I've ever had, for sure. To me, it's really important to have that father-son time, you know, and surfing for me is the best way to do it. So I, I'm not even positive if he loves surfing yet or anything like that, but he does love the ocean. And he likes the feeling of riding waves, so it's cool. The swell is usually tighter. It's usually like that size, like a purple blob, like this big. But look at this one; it's like the whole thing. Monday says surf 30 to 40 feet, six to eight times overhead, occasionally 50 feet. I definitely feel that there's an opportunity to catch a wave on a whole another level than I've caught before, and I'm kind of nervous and excited about possibly having the opportunity to catch it tomorrow. crazy how big it was. In my head, it, it seemed, it's getting out of hand out here, I need to go in. Everyone started whistling and screaming. You could see the set that was coming in that was like literally probably three minutes away from breaking. I never forget the view I had when I was paddling down the face and realizing I was gonna catch it. The bay looked so little. I was like at the top of this wave and I felt like I could see the bay like a little tiny bay below me. The thing was totally like, starting like barrel across the bay when I stood up and just got smoked on the wave and got pounded. You guys paddled into the biggest wave I've ever caught. Ever. It's a good thing. <laughs> I paddled into the wave I always wanted to paddle into out there. I've been waiting for this well for 15 years. It's incredible. It's incredible.